1,504 watts. I've also brought a coffee machine. And now we have it. It's some coffee. And obviously there's one more thing that we need to do when we're out, which is... While I was just losing the plot once driving through Scotland, I put my hat on backwards. Daddy! <laughs> sense because to be fair there's trails everywhere um, I'm not sure if there's some sort of competition on or or what but there's a lot of people running or getting ready to getting ready to go running I didn't sleep very well last night I think I woke up around a hundred times I don't know why I'm trying to understand why normally I have loads of sugar and loads of alcohol but I had two beers and went to bed so not sure not sure what it was but kept waking up so i'm super super tired and you can probably tell so given as bluetti um have kindly helped us out with the power for the van um i'm trying to make use of it so it's all right putting the solar panels out and what that does is it obviously captures a lot of attention people must be just thinking why has he got so much solar well not only have we brought amika's hair dryers with us we've also brought a coffee machine <clears throat> so it's all plugged in uh, so we obviously turn it on and uh, hopefully it will work it didn't work <clears throat> ah the plug came out now it's come on I wonder how many watts that's pulling straight away. Oof. 1,504 watts. Actually slightly under because the scooter charges on. That's a significant amount of power. But it has come on. It's down to 800, 200. Back up to 1,500. It's all over the place with the power. It's obviously warm now because it's pumping out the hot water. So obviously, uh, just run it through. Can hear the, can hear the bluetti going. Turning the fan on and off. It's obviously surging in power, so. Right. I can only assume now that <clears throat> Coffee beans have we got in there? Not a lot. So we'll top them up with some of Amazon's finest coffee beans, if we can. Obviously I'm getting a bigger van soon, so all of this will be a lot easier because there'll be more space. And I promise when I get my bigger van, I will never complain about having not enough space and I know anybody who's got a big van is watching this going 
Yeah, you will. Driving a small one. So all we do for a coffee is press that. What I have done as well is I, I bought this and um, drank all the coffee, so I've now got sugar in it. So I think it looks cool. So it goes the coffee into the cup. The cup that's never cleaned, only rinsed. A few moments later. And now we have it. It's some coffee. I would say that's absolutely beautiful, but cheap coffee beans and the, they are my backup beans. My um, beans I use if I run out. So normally I go to the local coffee shop in Kendall, which is called Farrah's. Love this shop. So if anybody who works for or runs Farrah's in Kendall wants to sponsor me and send me coffee until I stop drinking coffee, get in touch. So the weather forecast for sunny today and uh, overnight it's completely changed. So the wind seems to change direction, although it's not even windy. I'm not gonna lie, that's so much easier. It's a button and instant coffee, yes, so and there we go. Yeah, so the sun is trying to get through, but there's so many bit thick black clouds. So unfortunately, it's gonna be another one of those days. So we've got some guys in there, um, what are they called? Land Rovers, I guess, next to us, the roof tents. And then, this is the tent section, really. People with a barbecue on over there already. Some more tents over there. There's a load of tents at the top and some camper vans there. Right, I'm going to finish the rest of this coffee. And make another one. I hear movement in the front. Someone's woken up. Anyone home? Camera's off now. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> no, no. Close your eyes. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Sticky Teenager. I'm just a Sticky Teenager. teenager. He doesn't care. No, I'm not a stinky teenager. Go on, put it on. Why? Because we can both be stinky teenagers. You will be a stinky teenager soon. No, I won't. There you go. I'm just a stinky teenager. If you don't know what we're he talking about. He doesn't care. Because you're new to about our... anyone or anything. <laughs> if you're new to our channel and you've not seen, you don't even know what we're doing. Um... <laughs> While I was just losing the plot once driving through Scotland, I put my hat on backwards and uh, started singing some random stuff <laughs> and it's just stuck in her mind forever now. So whenever I put my hat on backwards, which sometimes I do, that happens. I'll put the link up, you can watch it. Right, got some breakfast? Uh, yeah. <laughs> teenager says yes. You look pretty cute with your hat on backwards. What do you think, guys? Doesn't she look cute with her hat on? Yeah, we should get you one that you could, one that actually fits you, one that doesn't look like you're wearing one of my t-shirts for bed. How was the uh, stargazing last night? Uh, terrible. Through the window that's completely, uh, whatever it's done. I had coffee this morning. I heard you. You heard me, did you now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You said you was also charging the um, thing again. Whatever. Um, Whatever. If anybody's watching wants to buy this van, because a few people have messaged me and I've got that many messages that I cannot keep up with stuff, um, get in touch because all of a sudden this van's going to be sold. So if you really, really want it, you can buy it from me. Um, now, I know I make a lot of complaints about it, but it is an awesome van. I do love it. The only thing I don't like about it is there's not enough space for me and her because of all the stuff that she's got. So um, it's hard to leave everything at home um, when she's like, please, daddy. Like this. <laughs> please. It's like, yeah, just put it all in. Chuck it all in. Stack it up in the back. We'll be fine. I'm not. And we're not fine, are we? Because there's not enough space. 
what? You've got I'm dragon thinking. breath. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> You've got... got... Breathing fire. I've got coffee breath, thank you. Ah, oh, <laughs> God! Right, I need to get his child sorted out. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You've got some sort of problems. <laughs> Help. <sighs> Do you want milk? Yeah. My memory card on that I use for my GoPro is full. In fact, it's not full, but I've used all the space at least once, and for some reason, it thinks it's full. So, what I have to do, and I'm sure other people have this problem as well, is take everything off and format the card, which is a pain in the backside if you don't want to take everything off at that moment in time. So, um, obviously you can use a bigger memory card, but I've I've gone back to a 128 gig. It will take a 256, um, but the 256 basically is so slow, it's like going back to an Atari computer when you're used to a Mac. So, um, so I've dropped memory cards. I might even go go less than that, um, and just rem remember to just take or or carry multiple cards and just take them, take the videos off as soon as I get back to the van, which I know, um, which I know a lot of other people do. So, yeah. So I, I now need to transfer this. I also bought, and if anybody knows the answer to this, please let me know. I also bought a USB. No, I didn't. Let me start again. I also bought. A memory card transfer jobby into USB thingy, whatever they're called, um, and it doesn't work. <laughs> so, if anybody knows a good one where I can literally just plug that in and it will plug into the USB C port on the Mac and work, then please let me know because at the moment I have to put it into the GoPro, plug the GoPro in, and transfer it that way, which isn't a problem. Um, but if I could just take the memory card out and put it in, it's just it's just easier. So let me know if you've got one. Let me know because that'd be very useful. Right, I need to turn the GoPro off now to transfer this. Well, we're both just enjoying some toast. I've got peanut butter in. Cherry and vanilla jam, which is super nice. And Amika's obviously got chocolate. Um, obviously, in order to have toast, we've got a toaster plugged into Bluetti. And you may notice that my bed is no longer a bed because I knocked the majority of that drink over. It has got a lock on it. It's all got the security device, everything you need. So you can't just open it, it's impossible. However, it was open like that. And I put it on and yeah, about one and a half liters in my bed now into a sponge bed. So that's now outside in the sun, trying to dry.
we have decided a couple of things. We're going to finish this uh, lunch, and then we're both going to jump on the scooter um, on some of the little trails around here. And we're going to do two things. We're going to try and find a waterfall, and we're going to pick some blackberries and raspberries if we can find any. No doubt most of them have been picked around here because it's quite a popular route with tourists. Um, and obviously there's one more thing that we need to do when we're out, which is... Buy ice cream. That didn't take much convincing, did it? Right, let's finish this food and get on the road. Just, although we did get a bit wet, but we were moving at speed, so that's probably why. We've got some bacon, a tomato, and some fruit pastels. And an ice cream. Doi! Doi! Dear, take that. And a bag for rubbish. Right, well, we never made it to the waterfall because as we got up the valley, 
started to, well it wasn't really raining but it's mountain weather so you never know what's going to happen. It turns out it hasn't actually rained, it's just really low cloud. Um, but it's better to get back and not get caught out in the rain.